what you find out. <laughs> okay, I'll try it.
So anybody out there, how's it going? Facebook? Hello, everybody. So glad you guys can join us today on our uh, Shim Sham uh, lesson. What we're going to be doing is doing a, a breakdown of the uh, Shim Sham Shimmy. And uh, we're going to tell you uh, it's about some opportunities to come out and practice what we're teaching you guys. Namely, the one and only Frankie Manning's birthday is coming up. And uh, for his birthday this year, they're going to do a worldwide shimmy. Uh, shim sham shimmy. Uh, and uh, we're going to give you guys some more information about that as we go. So this will be a perfect time to work on the shim sham. You guys with me? <laughs> You with me, Al? I'm with you. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you guys for, for, uh, very much for joining us. And we also um, have the lovely voice of Josh nearby. Say hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. And, uh, and he's going to be uh, by, and he's going to be keeping an eye on the comments so we can answer anybody's uh, questions uh, as, as soon as possible so that we can keep dancing as much as possible. And uh, anyway, we're going to be breaking down the shim sham like this. The Shim Sham comes in three sections. The first uh, section is just the jazz steps. The second section is exactly like the first section, but with one subtle change, namely the freeze break. The third section is we call uh, the, um, the boogie, bo boogie, boogie time. Boogie time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to break it all down for you guys. And uh, so anyway, Al, you ready to get started? Yes, let's get started. All right, section one, step one. The step is called the shim sham. It goes like this. Now, namely, uh, uh, when you're doing the shim sham, what you want to be very aware of is the counts. It's all going to be in eight count steps, uh, but the, uh, several of the steps are going to start on count eight, which means as we count it off, five, six, seven, eight is basically when uh, the, the, a lot of the steps are going to start, except when they don't. But we'll give you guys a heads up about how that works. But Shim sham goes like this. Everybody start with your right foot. Right foot, we're going to step it out to the side. Step it and drag it back. Let's do the other side. Step it, drag it back. Let's do it twice on this side. One and two. Now we're going to start again from the top. Now we're going to start from the left. Single. And a single. Now double on this side. Double step. Let's do it again. Single, a single, double step. So that essentially is the shim sham step. So let's do it again. Here we go from the top. Five. Six, set, then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, set, then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, set, then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, set, then hold. Now, the other thing you want to think about here is a lot of these steps happen in threes. This is one of them. So we did three eight counts of the Shim Shan step. So uh, we're going to break down the steps first, then we're going to put them together as we go. So the next step is what? Else? It's the full break. Full break. We're going to be doing, needing to do this one a lot. So let's get good at this one. So a full break starts with your right foot. We're going to step side, tap, side, tap. And just for right now, let's step through it, and then we'll make it more fun later. Step one, two, three. We should have a right foot uh, and a free at the end of that. So let's do that again. Side, tap, side, tap, step. One, two, three. Right foot free. So let's do a full break. Now the in counts, this is going to start on count eight. So we're going to step on eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have a right foot free to start our next figure on count eight. Let's put our first two steps together. Let's do our shim sham step. And let's go into our full break. It goes like this. Shim sham. Six. Set. Then single. Single. Double. Hey. Hey. A single, a single, a double, ha, ha, here we go, last one, single, single, double, here's our full break, here we go, side, tap, side, tap, step, one, two, three, now I'll have our right foot free, what's up next, L? The push crossovers. Push crossovers, so with our right foot free, let's all do this together, we're going to step a little bit diagonal forward with your right, we're going to step forward and we're going to lead from the hip, hip, and a hip, and a step. Right, so let's go ahead and do it again. So with the right foot going, a hip and a hip and a step. Now we have our left foot free. Let's go ahead and do a kick, cross, and we're going to do a little rock step with our right foot. Rock, step. That sets us up for the diagonal up to our left. Let's do this to the left. We're going to go 
hip and a hip and a step. Here we go, kick cross, kick cross. Here's a rock step, rock step. Okay, so let's do it from the top. We're gonna go eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then eight. So again, that's three times of the push cross over. Now what happens after our three times of our push cross over, then we just do kick crosses. It looks like this. We're gonna kick our right foot, kick, cross, and then rock step left. Rock step, and then again, kick, cross, and rock step right. Kick, cross, right? Then we do again, kick, cross, rock step, kick, cross. And we hold it right there. So let's do our push, Cross our push crossover break. Let's do our three push crossovers and then our just our kick crosses. It goes like this with numbers. It goes like this six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Now just the kick crosses. Here we go. And up. A kick cross and a kick hold. Okay, so let's get to that point from the top. Starting with our shim sham. Here we go. Thank you guys all for joining us. We so appreciate you guys. Wish we could see all your faces right now. And uh, we're hoping you guys are having fun. Thank you very much. Here we go. So, starting with the shim sham. And five, a six, a five, six, set, then single, a single, double, ha, ha, a single, a single, a double, hey. Hey, a single, a single, here we go. A full break, here we go. Side, attack, side, attack, and a one, two, three, push crossovers. And you push it, and you push it, and you what? You cross over. And you push it, and you push it, and you what? Cross over. And you push it, and you push it, and you now just the kick cross crosses, go. Kick, cross. cross, and a kick, hold. You guys all got that? All right. I hope you said yes, because we're moving on. Josh, so, you can let us know, Josh, if there's any questions. <laughs> so far, so good, Josh? Yeah. Okay, awesome. very enthusiastic. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, so here we're going to go. Now, we just did our push crossovers, and we ended up in this cross position. So if we start with this cross position with your left foot in front, right, what we're going to do is kind of bring our feet out to the side, and it goes like this. And one. Now what you're gonna notice is you keep your weight off your right foot. So we go from the cross, and we go and out. That way we can bring our right foot back in and tap it. All right, so we're gonna cross, okay? Six, seven, we're gonna call this and eight. And eight, so we can tap on one. All right, so now we're going into what's called a tacky ante. The tacky ante is very easy. We go tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, right? And, and, and out to go. Yeah, so tap, step, tap, step, tap, dump, kick. Uh, all right, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, so the timing of this is like a triple step. So if you do a triple step with your left foot, triple step. That's the feeling of the tacky ante on seven and eight. So we go on the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, third. One, two, three, four, hold it right there. So there's gonna be an interesting transition that we're gonna do now from our tacky annies back into our next figure, which is what up? It's a full break. Ooh, back to the full break. So let's do this again, tacky annies. We're gonna start from our cross position. Now this happens really fast, and this is something we always have to go, go over a lot in our group classes, um, but, it's like this, we're counting it slow, but it happens quite fast. But we're gonna go into a cross and out, tap, and a tap. So let's, go, let's count it like this. We're gonna go six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's a third time. Three, four, five, hold right there. So we're stepping onto our right foot. We're going to go ahead and collect and step onto our right foot again. So this is gonna be our transition from our tacky ante 
back into our full break. You remember how the full break goes? It goes like this. Side, tap, side, tap, step. One, two, three. Or you can start adding some styling in there. Let's do a full break with some styling out. Side, tap, side, tap, step. One, two, three. So again, we're just kind of rolling our heels off the floor, but essentially the timing is just march, march, march. So however you want to stylize that, it's up to you how much you want to have, how much fun you want to have with it. So, woo, it's warming up in here, Elle. Yeah, it sure is a lot. <laughs> so, so, uh, so that is our, uh, let's, go for, let's go from the top to that point, which is going to be our full break. So then we just have a little bit more to finish off our first section. But let's go from the top. Here we go. From the top. Five, a six, a five, six, seven, then single, a single, double, hey, hey, a single, a single, double on the left, hey, hey, a single, a single, a double, here we go, full break time, side and top, a tap, a one, two, three, and you push, and you push, and you cross over, and you push, and you push, and you cross over, here's the third one, and you push, and you, now just a cross over, here we go, kick, cross, over. cross here we go, Five, six, seven, eight, one, a three, a five, seven, eight, two, a three, a five, seven, third, one, a three. Here we go, slow down, slow down, throw, tap, step, and here's your full break. Side, tap, side, tap, step, one, two, three. All right. Now, as I catch my breath, <laughs> How you doing, Josh? Doing well. We've got 13 people on the street. So awesome. Cool. Yeah, Thank you. I'll keep going. So it's more people there. Good. Awesome. So, um, welcome, everybody. So uh, now we're going to go into what's called the half break. Now the half break, it's a, you're basically you're stepping with your right foot. You're going to step, step, and then do what's called a kickball change. With the right foot, we're going to kick. Bring the ball of foot down and do a little change of weight. Let's practice that together. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. So now we just do two steps and a kick, ball, change. Step, step, kick, ball, change. Step, step, kick, ball, change. So that is the half break. So let's do a half break. So again, it's, that happens with a one eight count. Uh, you do this uh, little pattern twice. So it goes like this. Eight, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven. Now a full break. Our full break goes side, tap, side, tap, step. A one, two, three. Half break again. Step, step, kick, ball change. Step, step, full break. Here we go. Side, tap, side, tap, and a one, two, a three. All right. Guess what? That was our first section. <laughs> I was going to make yes. you guess. Oh. I know you would have got it right. <laughs> yes, that was our first section. So let's do our first section all together, everybody. Join along, please. So we're going to start off with our shim sham step. And a five, a six, a five, six, set, the single, a single, a double, ba, ba, da, a single, a single, double left. Here we go. A single, a single, double here, full break. A side and tap, a side and tap, and a one, two, three. And you push and you push and you cross over. And you push and you push and you cross over. And you push and you push and you kick cross it out. And you kick cross over. Here we go. A five, six, seven, eight, one. A three, tap the ante. Five, seven, second, one. A three, a five, seven, third, one. A three, here comes that full break. And a side, and a one, a three, and a one, two, three, half break. Step, step, kick, ball chain, step, full break. Side, tap, and tap, a one, half break again. Step, step, kick, ball chain, step, step, full break. And you go, bubble, da 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 now, as we start moving on to section two, it's exactly the same as section one, but instead of doing the full break, now we're just gonna freeze. 
relatively. There might be a little bit of uh, chuck and jive, a little fun that we're going to have in there, but let me show you how it's going to work out. Let's do the, se the second section. Now we're going to freeze instead of doing the full break. goes like this. Second section. Five, a six, five, six, seven, single, a single, a double, ha, ha, a single, a single, a double, bang, bang, a single, a single, double, what are we going to do now? Freeze. A two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you push, and you push, and you, you cross over, and you push, and you push, and you, cross over, and you push, and you push, and you, Cross over. And you. Cross over. And you hold. And you go one. A three. Tacky and five. Set the second one. A three. A five. Set the third one. A three. A five. Six. Seven. Hold. Two, three, four. Half break time. Step, step, kick ball chain. Step, step, kick ball chain. Freeze. This is where we usually do in a full break. Five, six, step, again, step, step, kick, ball change, step, step, kick, ball change, freeze. What time is it? It's boogie time. Woo, it's boogie time. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so that was our first two sections. Again, just freezing instead of doing the full break. Now we're going to go into boogie time. Super fun, super easy. Here's how it's going to work. First, we're going to move up a little bit so we have a little space behind us. Now, what's going to happen here is we're going to practice those kickball changes. So everybody kick your right foot, we're going to do a kickball change. Kickball change, kickball change, kickball change, kickball change. Now what we're going to do is kick forward, kick, and then take a big step back. Now again, kick forward, back step, forward, back step. Let's try that again. So we're going to uh, kick forward, kick, back step, kick, back step, kick, back step, Kick, back step. And so you can make it as far as you want. If you don't have much room where you're practicing, you can make small steps. Or big giant yeah, steps. Yeah, you have a big place where you're practicing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then we have to add this somewhere. Not in that rhythm. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to, as we kick, we're going to clap at the same time. So we're going to go kick, back, boom, ba boom, ba boom. So this is a boogie back. All right, so the numbers are, again, we're going to start on count eight. That kick and clap starts on eight. So let's do it like this. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and three, and five, and seven. So then we're doing eight counts of each step, remember. So now at the end of that, we have our right foot free for what now? Boogie forward. Ooh, boogie forward. So, but before now, basically what we're going to do is scuffing the floor with that right foot, scuff and swing it out to the side and step on it. Now with your left foot, scuff and step, scuff and step, scuff and step, scuff and step, scuff and step. Now with your right foot free, let's boogie back. Two and two and three and five and seven. Here's our count eight. Eight, one, a three, and five, six, seven. Here again, boogie back. Eight, and one, and three, and five, and seven. Eight, and one, uh, three, and five, and seven. Now, as far as arms go, I kind of like just being Mr. Cool Guy and snapping my fingers. What do you do, Elle? I do a couple different things. Sometimes I have my hands up here. This, or fingers, you can do like a, um, this is an F in sign language. You can make an F in sign language while you're Doing your boogie forward. Um, you That's can a also, new tidbit of information that you haven't <laughs> added in there before. <laughs> um, you can also do big arms, which, which I like to do sometimes. If I have a lot of space. Draw ba -da 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 -ba. Ba -da -da -ba. Yeah. All right, so so <laughs> we're talking about how to uh, doing your boogie forward. You know, so again, I kind I, I I tend to keep it a little bit low here, right? And now bringing the arms out like this it, uh, emphasizes the hips, right? So as you're as you're uh, you're doing your boogie forward, right? Boom, boom, nice. Or drama. Boom, boom, watch out now. Coming at you. <laughs> That's the bo boogie forward. <laughs> Let's do that break all together. So I'll move up a little bit. Let's boogie back, boogie forward, boogie back, boogie forward. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. 
and three, and five, six, seven, eight, oh, one, on three, and five, do it again, here we go, eight, and one, and three, and five, and seven, eight, oh, one, on three, on five, one more time, back we go, eight, oh, one, on three, and five, and hold. All right, now it's time for the last step of the Shim Sham, which is what, Al? The Shorty George. Ooh, Shorty George. Now, this is a fun one because it's super silly and goofy, and that's just my style. Now, this basically, the practice is like this. Um, you kind of roll your feet out side to side, kind of roll your knees a little bit, use the hips, use the shoulders in opposition. It helps to practice this. Um, at the grocery store because that guarantees that people are going to give you lots of space around you, right? Start walking through the grocery store like this be like, okay, this person means a business. <laughs> so anyway, this, this is the styling right here. So let's go over some footwork. The footwork for Shorty George starts with a kickball change. It goes like this. So we're going to kick our right foot. Kick, ball. Now we're going to step forward with our left. Change. Let's do that together. Kick, ball, change. One more time. Kick, ball, change. From that step, all we're going to do is march to the beat going forward. So let me go show you the footwork. The footwork goes like this. Kick, ball, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven, now we have our right foot free to do what, Al? We boogie back again. Woo, boogie back again. So let's do our shorty George. So we're doing a kick, ball, step. Okay, we're just going to march. So again, kick, ball, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But now we got to add the fun styling. So it goes like this. Kick, ball, chain, boom, pa, two, ta, two, bam. Landing on that left foot on count seven. So as we go from our shorty George, we're going to go back to our boogie backs. So let's do that together. Shorty George, kick, ball, chain, two, three, a five, six, seven, boogie back. Boogie back, here we go. One more time, here we go. Hit. A kick, ball change. Two, three, and five, six, stop. Nice. Now, all we're going to do is put these back together. So it's going to go boogie back, boogie forward, boogie back, boogie forward, boogie back, shorty George, boogie back, shorty George. All right, so let's all try that together. Let's all move up on the dance floor, starting with the boogie back. Remember to count it. That always helps a lot so that you figure out where your count seven is so you can start the next figure on count eight. So here we go, boogie back. Five, a six, a five, six, seven, boogie back, boogie back. Here we go, boogie four, six, seven, eight, a one, a three, a one more time, eight, a one, a three, and five, boogie four. Hey, you know what? I was in a kick, kick, ball, change. A five, seven, boogie back. We got a shorty George time. Here we go. A kick, ball, change. Two, three, four, five. One more time. Here we go. Kick, ball, change. Bravo. Shorty George. Here we go. A shorty George. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> All right, so the last section, the boogie section, is just those steps. Boogie back, boogie forward, boogie back, boogie forward, boogie back, shorty George, boogie back, shorty George. Then at the end of that is when everybody just grabs a dance partner and dances for the rest of the song. So, if you don't have a dance partner, you can just dance. You can just for the dance rest by yourself. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's called quarantine dancing. Dancing Charleston. by yourself. Yeah. Whatever you want. Okay, so. Let's go, let's go from the top, everybody. <laughs> Section one. This is with the uh, full break. Let's here we go. I don't know. Should we just throw on some music? Yeah. I got some, I got some uh, Joe Jackson that I want to uh, play for you guys so we can kind of um, put, put it together with some music. Now, this is the uh, Tuxedo Junction uh, by Joe Jackson. And I always love this song because it's, it's, like, it's got the perfect pace for practicing. A lot of the Shim Sham songs, uh, sometimes they can get a little bit fast and a little bit tough, especially with these weird transitions. So all you got, everybody just do the best you can. Uh, we're going to play some Joe Jackson. And, and this particular song, there's going to be a break between the first section and the second section. But we'll talk you through it. Here we go. All 
All right, doing all right, Josh. Josh, fell asleep. <laughs> Starting with the shim shaft. The Shim Sham. How's that feeling, Josh? Uh, it's looking good. A lot of people are asking if we're going to repost the video later. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're we're, we're going to try to put it on YouTube. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I know it stays um, on Facebook for a while, too. And you should be able to rewind it. So, yeah, and yeah. pause it and whatever you need to do. Um, so I would like to do it to one more song. What do you think? You cool with that, Josh? Okay. <laughs> All right, so now, now we're gonna play it to um, the the Shim Sham song. It's uh, the song. This song is by uh, the Bill Elliott Orchestra, and this uh, song I always like to play a song. It's a little faster than what we just did with the uh, uh, Joe Jackson version, uh, but the, musically it really helps uh, with this particular song because it has the breaks at all the right time, and uh, the music em emphasizes the dance steps that we're doing. So again, this is the Bill Elliott Orchestra doing the Shim Sham song. Here we go. Again, it's a little bit faster. Oh, yeah. 
you guys so much. So, so some important information, guys. As I soon as I catch my breath. Frankie Manning's birthday is coming up. Frankie Manning's birthday on Tuesday, May 26th. And so worldwide, they're having um, a relay, is how I understand it, of just celebrating his birthday and doing the Shim Sham at 8 o'clock in your own time zone, wherever that is. And so we're thinking about having a little event um, where we get to do that here locally for Santa Fe, for the Mexico Mountain Zone. Um, yeah, if you guys want some more information about that, you can find it on uh, FrankieManningFoundation.org. And again, um, thank you guys so much for joining us today. If this is uh, something you guys want to do again, we'll set it up. We'll make it happen. Um, thank you, Elle. Thank you. Quick shout out to the Bone Redding who um, gave us permission to use his song earlier in the, in the video, the live video. We were dancing to some of his music. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh, for your help. Yes. Five or five singing. <laughs> thank you, you too. Uh, can I just mention that there's going to be a Zoom after party, so if you can chat if they want. Awesome. Yeah, Zoom after party. And how do they get in touch with that? Uh, we'll post a link on 505 Swing, the oh. Facebook page. Awesome. There's going to be a link on 505 Swing, the Facebook page. Um, all right, guys, we're going to sign off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. thank you so much. Keep dancing, everybody. We appreciate you. We miss you. And uh, let's keep dancing. If this works well, let us know. We can do it again. Awesome. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.